Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar from for the UK we have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days so we are going to still see plenty of showers in places even some thunderstorms but it will be turning a lot warmer as we head towards the second half of this week into the weekend as we could be drawing up some very warm air from the south the warmest air we've seen all year so far could be arriving but coming from the southwest with some tightening isobars and lower pressure could mean it could also encourage more heavier rain and storms as we have a look the longer range definitely is looking warmer as we progress into the final week or so of june we have been talking about this for a number of days now it is starting to look um, really quite likely with higher pressure building in as well which means not only will it be turning a lot warmer but it will also be turning a lot drier doesn't look completely bone dry so not uh, zero precipitation but much less than it has been recently which is said is a very positive sign so to remember if you enjoy the videos do like and subscribe our room to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description now if you start on the live radar you can see there are a few showers around at the moment quite a few thunderstorms across northern france but for most of the british Isles, it's actually pretty dry a few isolated thunderstorms breaking out here cluster for southern and eastern parts of scotland and north and, and eastern parts of england really the, the sort of far extremities of those regions and a few more down the east coast again pop-up showers and storms they are likely over the next few days but you can see widely though it is pretty dry now we haven't had any ridiculously warm air mass today which is why temperatures have been decent but nothing crazy about the low 20s 21 22 today uh, touching average for the time of year and you see that from the oranges we're calling this around half seven so temperatures starting to fall away but you can still see it is pretty warm now if you have a look at the latest ukv you can see as we head through this evening, again, a few showers for Scotland, but nothing too bad. And then into Tuesday afternoon, again, a few heavy thundery showers breaking out. But again, for most, it isn't too bad. And then as we head into Wednesday, we start to see again a few showers across the far north, but nothing too bad. Again, pretty dry, so not too bad. And the temperatures will be rising. And Thursday, same could be said there. We do see a bit of high pressures starting to nudge up from the southeast, which could give some much warmer and drier conditions for a time. But you can see rain trying to push in from the west and eventually into Friday and into such that rain does move in but it does draw some very warm air with it you can see the warm air does push in by the middle of this week then you can see some very warm air starts to waft in by saturday and you see the 16 degree isotherm in that probably pushes in wouldn't be surprised if we start to get towards the high 20s or even 30 degrees now hasn't got massive support is a small pocket of very warm air but it is looking pretty plausible and these are the sort of conditions we could see in the latter part of June. Now if you look at the max temperatures you can see earlier today around the 21 or 22 degree mark. As we head into Tuesday once again could see 21, 22 but it will depend on cloud amounts. Into Wednesday the temperatures will likely rise a little bit higher maybe 22 or 23 and more widely high teens and then as we head into Thursday again more in those 20 degree range maybe 23 or 24 friday 25 26 and then look at saturday maybe 26 or 27 but it will be all dependent on the cloud and rain as you can see friday and saturday there will be showers there will be some thunderstorms and some more prolonged areas of rain and just generally thick cloud so those sort of things could mix up and it could mean those temperatures don't get anywhere near this much and if those uh, precipitation amounts do die down then the temperatures could get widely a bit warmer than this so we have to wait and see but you can see the overall trend is for something much warmer later this week staying unsettled for the time being but into next week that's when we could see high pressure firmly building in so do have a look at the latest gfs you can see low pressure is still involved at the moment but it is losing its intensity and that means that we will be seeing generally better conditions high pressure starts to build in through wednesday afternoon but again low pressure trying to push in off the atlantic as we head into early next week that's when high pressure firmly builds in you can see low pressure does try and nudge through at times but if we do have a look at the upper temperatures you can see they're generally well above average and it is looking pretty warm and toasty indeed nothing ridiculous no heat wave but definitely looking warm above average 
and you can see the upper air temperatures around the four to six degree above average mark and you can see the two meter temperatures we're looking at mid to high 20s on a lot of the days for sort of the southeast more towards low 20s further northward so really quite decent indeed if you head over to the GM, again, high pressure trying to push in this week, but low pressure being a bit more influential. High pressure eventually probably starts building next week, but again, does come up against strain from low pressure to the west. But you can see here at day 10, warm air is getting wafted up from the south, and it doesn't look too bad at all. Look at the temperature deviation getting towards average or above average. And if you look at the two meter temperatures again, mid 20s, but not as high further westwards, and that's because of that low pressure system trying to push in off the Atlantic so still a few caveats there if you compare to the ECMWF unfortunately hasn't fully come out but it's come out 292 hours so we'll just look out until that range don't really want to have a look at the midnight runners it's a little bit out of date now you can see though high pressure trying to build in next week and it really does build in towards 192 hours so in around eight days time if you look at those upper air temperatures much warmer then we're seeing this week and from a lot of other runs and really quite pleasant indeed getting towards the 13 14 degree range that's mid 20s maybe upper 20s can't have a look at the two meter temperatures yes they've not generated but those are sort of temperatures we would be looking at around that high 20s maybe even 30 degrees possible if we saw this persist for a little bit longer so nothing out of this world but still really quite pleasant now, if you finish up by looking at the latest ensemble, see the latest GFS, again, you can see that we are average to above average, especially later this week into next week, a little bit more up and down into early July. But for the rest of June, we are looking back towards average or above average. Nothing record breaking, not too many ensemble members getting much above the 15 degree isotherm, which means anything above maybe the max of 30 degrees is highly unlikely. So if you're thinking anything of heat wave levels, it is looking quite unlikely. But 25, 26, maybe 27 or 28 is looking very plausible in this sort of scenario. You can see precipitation really dying down, which is a positive. Not zero, so it still could be showers and storms around, but not too bad at all. If you look at those two meter temperatures, again, you can see they're into the low 20s, maybe even mid 20s or higher as we head into late June. Again, we'll have to wait and see exactly how that does play out, but again, on the upwards trend and you can see again from the latest ecmwf ensembles that again midnight run very warm indeed you can see the actual operational run for the gf the ecmwf here from midnight which i said was a bit out of date was very warm uh, you can see that here getting towards 17 18 degrees at 850 hp and you can see the ensembles are on that trend as well so ecmwf even more bullish of something drier and warmer and again if we did get some of those runs above the 15 degree house firm you're going to rule out maybe a little bit of a heat wave. Nothing out of this well, no 40 degrees, but maybe low 30s is possible if we did see that trend start to evolve. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how it does play out, but definitely looking positive, continuing on an upwards trend. We'll just have to see what happens in the next few days. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.